planner babes this is Aurelie plans my name is Aurel and welcome back to my channel for today's video I will be doing an updated um, walk through flip through whatever you call it through of my EDC it's been a while I've made some changes on here um, recently and I know I've done some like updates here and there but I kind of want it to be in one video all together um, for everybody who is interested so let's get started. I am still happily in my A6 size and honestly I don't see it changing um, anytime soon. Cover wise I probably will. I'm waiting, waiting, patient, patiently waiting for the A6 um, VDS that will come with 30 millimeter rings so very much psyched about that but anyway right now I am very content with my Giglio A6 Campania in the Epoca black leather. So just to like go through all the things in this pocket, um, I'm not too fond of the back pocket so it's not really like a big loss for me if I lose it. Um, I just have this weekly edit um, paper pad from May Paper Co that came in the sub box and then I have like these misprinted um, list inserts from Peanuts Planner Co just in case I need to like jot some things down that don't necessarily need to go in my planner. Um, I have my tab stickies from Cloth and Paper, some IDs on here, some papers. I have like a Polaroid of myself. And then um, I do have this um, routine, planning routine fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. I have my um, task cards that I made myself. And then, um, that's it for this like pocket right here. And then I have this needle minder. Um, so I'll make sure I'm, I'm up to no good. Love that. I love the uh, flyleaf comes with like an extra pen loop. So I have a highlighter. And this is pretty much the bulk of my planner. It's super chunky. And yeah, it's like so hard to turn the pages now, um, which kind of sometimes like really annoy me. That's why I really want 30 millimeter rings, um, you know, if possible. Like, yeah, I have these like pages like popping up. I have an acetate. This is from Loft and Main Co. Um, she has like di different like digital line art that you can download. It's my name on there. This is a graphic from Kale Plants that I printed on vellum. Yearly overview from Peanuts Planner Co. And I'm just using like different stickers to mark um, when the months are over. Um, I have my thrive, my thrive, or which is my year. Of, uh, word of the year for 2020 and then this is just like a manifesto that I wrote for myself. First um, section is plan. My clear dividers or frosted dividers are from Dividers Are Us. I do have a link with her down below if you guys are interested. Um, this is uh, some art that I found on Pinterest and it's from the artist Lee Tarnies. I don't know if I pronounced that right but he's also on Instagram. Um, Yes, like, and he also has like a red bubble shop with all the graphics. So my theme for the month is Avatar Last Airbender. So we have Aang. This one I made on Canva. This line art I got from Wow Print Designs, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, everything will be linked. Also from Wow Print Designs. This one I made. Another from Loft and Main Co. This monthly dashboard is from UMI Graphics. I also have a code with her. And I have my monthly routine um, on here for my EDC and my extension for reference. Sticky notes from Originate One UK. This um, bookmark is from Brooklyn Grace Co. I like how I use like the bottom. Um, I flip it upside down so it can be the bottom for the month, and then for the week it's on the top. And this is both are from Brooklyn Grace Co. Um, this uh, monthly overview is from Paper Test Designs. I just started using this this month and I am smitten with the layout. I like how it's a Sunday start. And here I just wrote um, my main to do's for the month and then here I wrote the dates in. This future dates um, insert from Peanuts Planner Co. Very useful. I love that. And then I have my yearly overview um, insert for also from Peanuts Planner Co. Next is my weekly, so same thing, routine, sticky notes from cloth and paper, another from Loft and Main Co. 
This is Unigraphics, Graphics, so I did print out my weeklies, and then I used like this as like a first page, like a background, um, and then same as like with the last page right here. So there you go. So my weeklies are from Roro Designs. Um, it's a custom made uh, following the dashboard layout, but these um, section headers are for myself. I at requested to have these um, put on for the insert and it's been a really good insert so far. I absolutely love it. And then for pre-planning, I have this weekly week on one page from Infinite Lotus. I have a code with her as well. And it also starts on a Sunday, which I requested. So it has like the days of the week, some to do's, priorities, and some memo. So this is what I just used to like pre-plan. And then next we have the dailies. I have different, I'm using different dailies right now. Um, this sticky note is from Point Hun. So I have Roro Designs on here. I think this is like the Hobonichi style um, daily insert. And I'm, I also have this insert from Cloth and Paper. Um, let me see. Cloth and Paper, Cloth and Paper. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Two days on one page. Peanuts Planner Co. Elmon Paper Co. Peanuts Planner Co. And then another one from Cloth and Paper. So I'm trying out different dailies right now. I'm not really sure. Um, I, I, I don't think I can ever like stick to one honestly because every layout applies to like depending on what the day what day you're having so I'm just gonna go with like different dailies each time and then next is my adulting section we have another avatar dashboard this is a pretty much like an index of what's in my finance section I have sticky notes from point hun seven baby steps from sequence and paper I have my spending rules that I printed on vellum. Um, I have this as a freebie, not this necessarily. It has, I have like the old version, which I'll show you in just a second. So I have this um, spending rules, which is basically the same thing. This is just like a more minimal design, but this one I do have as a freebie in different planner sizes. Um, I'll link it down below as well if you guys are interested. So I have this dashboard. It says, what is your why from EO edits here on my, in the sticky note, I have the goals that I have financially for the month of July. This is a, um, insert that I made, um, on Canva. And this one I found like online this when I'm like reading through like finance tips and all that. So this is a 10 step formula to achieve financial freedom. Love this as a guide. And then I have three subsections in my adulting section. I have bills, orders, and then spending. So for bills, I have this um, fluctuating bill tracker from Simple and Trendy Co. And it just has like the bills that I pay on a monthly basis. Oh, and I like how all the months are here just to like see the progression of the bills that I'm paying. And then here is an order tracker also from Simple and Trendy Co. Um, and then my spending calendar for June was right here and then here is what I have for July this insert is from peanuts planner co and the next is my nurse section or work section um, this is a sticker I found I've just bought at like a local art store when I went to LA a few years ago I like the quote um, this is a freebie from AUE plans on Instagram I printed it on vellum and then this is another um, graphic. I f totally space out on who is, like, where this is from, but I will link it down below. This is a um, index of what my work section, what, what my work section has. Sticky notes from cloth and paper. I have, like, a holiday tracker on a sticky note. This one I made on Canva. And then I have a calendar yearly calendar overview from Peanuts Planner Co. This is to track my shifts. This is also I made on Canva. These are my work goals, some work to do's. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And then like some notes for travel nursing, which I am planning to do next year. Next is my health section. I do have this card. This says keep going. This is from Sequence and Paper. I have a Sesame clip. I have another avatar dashboard. 
more originate UK um, sticky notes. Another graphic that I printed on vellum. I really have to think about where I got this from, but it will be linked down below. Like everything will be like like desert theme because I just got it all from one shop. Um, this is an index of what my health section has. This card is from Cloth and Paper. Another lined art from Loft and Main Co. This is a yearly um, overview insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I just use this to write my health goals. This one I made on Canva. This list is from Thrive on Plans. And it just has like the one month um, list. And I use it to write what the word of the day is, to describe the day, and like a gratitude list for the month of July. Most of my health inserts for this health section is from Thrive on Plans. So I also have her morning routine, evening routine, the pick me up menu, self care plan joy list, a reset routine. Here are my health related resources, so like addresses and phone numbers. I have a medical consultation log from the Lest Lab, um, just to write like, you know, like what I go to the doctor for, what the date is and all that, and then same as with the dentist. And then this one I made on Canva. This list, um, for list insert is from a Infinite Lotus. And these are just like some random like health related crap. And I have my weight log, which I suck at filling out. Need to redo better. And then a reoccurring tasks list from Penis Planner Co. Um, this one is a card, um, planner card I got from Happy Mail. Um, next is my dump section. Another avatar dashboard. More sticky notes. This is from May Paper Co. This one I made on Canva, another graphic, this is the index for my dump section. I have more sticky notes. As you can see, there's sticky notes are like spread out all over this planner. So I know I'm never going to run out. <laughs> so in the dump section, I do have four subcategories, which is lists, goals, early plans, and travel. So for the list section, it's just what it is, just lists. I have some sticky notes here from my paper co. I have this dashboard that I made on Canva and printed on vellum. Just write it down. I have an inbox. I just started using this again. It's like a three, the three category list from Peanuts Planner Co. Some stuff that I need to remember when the pandemic started. Some random stuff like that I want to do at some point. And this insert is from Thrive on Plans. Um, this is a freebie um, that I made um, in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. I have this read um, sticky note from cloth and paper and it um, I've written all the books that I've read so far this year and then here I have a list of um, resources to watch read listen and do in support of the Black Lives Matter movement I have um, a to buy list um, for the home buy list for like fashion related I have a wish list tracker from cloth and paper. This is a four grid like list from um, Peanuts Planner Co. as well. And it's just basically like random stuff about my car. Next is the goal section. Um, I just got this card from Happy Mail. Um, this one is from EO Edits. I like how it says clarity, intention, purpose equals personal accountability. I have more sticky notes from May Paper Co. This one I made on Canva. And these are the goals, main goals that I have for the year 2020 that I made um, on Canva as well. This is from UI Graphics. I printed on vellum. A yearly overview. I definitely need to update like the stickers on here. This is from Infinite Lotus and it comes to like this insert like is comes with like all the months and I use this to write the goals that I have for each month on here. So these are July's and then on the back it has like the top five goals for the year of 2020. I have like a little key right here and I wrote my goals for the quarter. This is the second quarter which um, has already passed and then now I just written my quarter three goals which are right here. This insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. This card I got from Happy Mail. This is from Tool and Twine Co. 
And then next we have Arly Plans, which is for my social media. Um, this dashboard is from United Graphics. I printed it on vellum. Another graphic. I do have my planner wish list. This insert is from Cloth and Paper. So I just have A5 and A6. I did have personal before, but I took those out. Um, so I think I'm just going to stay in like A6 forever until otherwise. <laughs> and then I have a setup wish list, some um, add to planner, some of the things that I want to add to this planner. This is a list insert from Peanuts Planner Co. To buy, shops to check out, insert from Infinite Lotus, an Instagram brain dump. Um, a YouTube um, like binge notes so every time I would watch like YouTube videos and I find some information that are useful I write it on here um, and then next I have travel right now the travel section is pretty much empty because I can't I can't go anywhere so that's it and then next is my notes section I have another avatar dashboard another graphic and then this is just basically like notes notes pages note paper that I um want to keep you know uh, for extras in case I need to like put some in um different like planner sections I have this like sticker sheet from May Paper Co and then another acetate and then here I have like a Foxy Fix like pocket and it just has like random um stickers so I have these ones from Paradise Planner Co., which has like to do's on here. I have um, a bunch of um, functional dot stickers from Me Paper Co., stickers from AliExpress, and a bunch of MJ and Hope um, teeny tiny icon stickers um, that I use religiously in my planner. And then I have a page lifter also from Foxy Fix, and I have just this sticker right here that I got at a local bookstore and here I just have like this card be afraid and do it anyway this is from a paper co um I don't have any feet use for this pocket and in this pocket I have more stickers that I use um these are all from planner spot so I have arrows dots teardrops um or dew drops so all from planner spot and then these two are from Poi and Hun. So that is my EDC. I love the A6 size. I love how compact it is and I like how um, wide the inserts are and like I said I'm not planning on switching sizes anytime soon and it's been working out and I love my EDC. Um, my planner honestly has been the best um it has ever had been so far um and I love it oh forgot to mention this is from Kubo and Lucy and also this stethoscope um paper clip also from Kubo and Lucy so yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and of course if you want to see more content from me don't forget to subscribe thank you guys bye